Jamie, and welcome to Deadbeat Studios for another episode of Killer Tone. And today we're gonna check out this distortion pedal right here. It's called the Double Thruster from Joyo. I did a live stream recently just exploring this pedal and checking it out in real time. But let's just start by checking out some of the highlights from that live stream. By the way, there's chapters listed just below in the description so you can jump around if you want to. Otherwise, let's get started. Box was already open by the time it got to me. Let's get this thing open, shall we? We got a manual, which if you've been to these live streams before, you know. I don't read this stuff until after I've played with it for a little bit. Just like the other JoJo pedal, the stomp button is in the corner. Looks like we've got input and output. Power's up here on top. We've got a gain boost, a mid boost, volume and gain, tone and blend. I definitely like that it's got the blend for the clean because the, the low end is going to disappear once you start to distort. Blending in the clean channel can bring some of the mm frequencies back. Of course, you can EQ it, but then your EQing post distortion can get kind of fuzzy. So once again, this is the JoJo double thruster. So uh, let's go ahead and check it out. I'm going to plug in. That's the one right there. Let's go ahead and start twisting some knobs here. I'm gonna start with the boosts off. That's the dry signal. Okay, the gain is all the way up. So that's as crunchy as it's gonna get. This is l as low as it gets. And the tone knob, I'm just gonna leave it in the center. And I'm gonna turn off my microphone for a second so you can hear what that sounds like. So that gain boost is doing a ton. It's pretty effortless to get the the grind, that, that grinding tone in there. Let me grab a pick, hold on. Honestly, the, the, the gain boost seems to affect the low end more than it does anything else. Yeah, that mid boost is definitely going to help you cut through the mix. So if you're playing a more acrobatic passage, uh, that's probably the setting that you want to use. Both the mid and the gain boost on. There's the dry signal. I like the, the gain boost because the low end comes back. By the way, if you wanna know why I'm not wearing a shirt, in Phoenix, Arizona, it was 120 degrees outside. So, sorry for all the chest here, but not sorry. Oh wait, let's take it from the top actually. Now, 
Now, here's the thing. Everyone online is buzzing about this pedal, asking if it's a dark glass killer or at least an inexpensive alternative, which means we're going to have to play some really genty progressive metal. But I'm going to have to fight the urge to plug in a dingwall bass because this is an inexpensive pedal. It's only 70 bucks. So that means I should plug in a more affordable instrument within that price range to see if we can still get that crisp chainsaw dingwall dark glass combination. So this is where the bass starts. I really like this tone. I'm gonna go ahead and press record this time. I didn't play with a lot of smack, so I'm gonna lean on the tone knob to see if I can't get it there. Plenty of low end. I really don't feel like I need that mid boost for this one either. All right, so here's my, my final takeaway on the Joyo Double Thruster. Is it affordable? Yes, still feature packed in a way, but certainly less than you would get with like the Alpha Omega Ultra. Will it get you close to that sound? I would say, yeah, pretty close, especially if you're on a budget. So that's it. Thank you so very much for watching. Make sure you go check out the Skeleton Crew. We've got tons of perks for the live streams and a whole bunch of behind the scenes goodies. And speaking of which, thank you to these wonderful names right over here. These are the MVPs. Thanks for helping us keep the lights on. Make sure you like and subscribe. Go turn on those notifications and we'll see you next time here at Deadbeat.